all right guys you are welcome to another data science short tutorial so today as you can see on my screen i'm having a financial data here and this is actually yahoo data okay yahoo finance to be precise what we want to do today is we want to analyze financial data so we want to analyze financial data using data from yahoo finance so let's get started so right here i'm in my jupyter notebook and this is where we're going to read in our data and start analyzing our financial data so i want to introduce you to a new package called pandas data reader so Pandas data reader has been around for some time and we're going to use it to pull data from Yahoo Finance into this Jupyter notebook where I will be doing some financial analysis for you. So if you don't have Pandas data reader, you can just do pip install Pandas data reader and right away you be able to install it but i've already done that so i'll just move ahead so the next thing is the main tax uh, before us now so we're going to use this package called pandas data reader to read stock price data from yahoo finance pandas data reader currently supports these various sources iex alpha advantage and some other data bases you know uh like world bank eurostat yahoo finance so we're going to make use of one of them which is precisely yahoo finance for this uh tax so the next step i'm going to do is to import the libraries for this tax so i'm going to re re import the pandas uh which is a library for manipulating data so i'm going to import pandas as pd i'm going to import data reader from pandas because data reader which we are going to use for this tax actually comes from pandas too so then i'm going to import matplotlib which is for visualization and of course seaborn also which is for visualization in python so I've already done that. I've run this cell. So I'm going to go to the next cell where I'm going to set the start date and the end date for my financial analysis. So I want to analyze data starting from 1st January 2001 to 31st of December 2001. So let's run that. Done. The next thing is to set some tickers for stocks to be analyzed now i need to put pull some stocks from the yahoo finance some stock data from the yahoo finance and i just want to be specific on which of the stocks that i want to uh, analyze here in my jupyter notebook so here i want to pull stock data from Ete africa and also from twitter so i'm going to set the name now these names they are the identifier for these stocks in yahoo finance so if i should take you back to yahoo finance so you can see so these are the symbols you can see the one for google you can see the one for amazon the one for tesla so these are the stock data and these are the symbols for each of those stocks listed on yahoo finance so i'm going to make use of the one for ether africa and for twitter so i'm going to run this cell to set my tickers now the next thing to do is to tell pandas data reader the source so i'm going to set the data source as yahoo and by that the pandas data reader we understand that we want to pull uh, this financial data from one of the supported uh, 
source which is yahoo finance so let's set that the next thing we are going to do is to read in the data now use the using the pandas data reader okay so right here now i have ether africa uh the name i set uh to read in the data as so i'm going to use web dot data reader and you can see the name the symbol for the ether african uh, stock then the data source which of course we already set up here as yahoo finance then the start day and the end date which we have also set and i'm going to do that also for twitter to pull in the twitter uh stock data mm -hmm. too so i'm going to run this cell right away okay so done wow so right now we can just view the first few rows for the elte african stock data wow and right here you can see so this is this data is a time series data as you can see this is the high low open close volume and adjusted close okay so that is it and the next thing here is to view the head for that of the twitter stock data so this will give us the first few rows for the data as you can see so right now i have two stocks here one from Ete africa then the other one for from twitter okay so let's go ahead and quickly do some statistical analysis on both of them so here i'm going to use dot describe so dot describe uh in python we give us the summary statistics for the stocks so i'm going to do that for the ether so this one is for the ether and you can see the mean the standard deviation the minimum this is the 25 percent percentile 50 percent percentile 75 percent percentile and the max so the maximum i for ether is 139 you know 0.699997 so this is quite intuitive you know you can get a lot of interpretations from here the same thing i'm going to do for twitter um you can see so this is a summary statistics also for twitter stock and you can also get a lot of interpretations from here as you can see okay so that's nice let's move ahead so the next thing to do is to visualize some indicators from those stocks so i'm going to pick on the ether africa first and i'm going to plot the eye uh, against the low and the line width i set as two the font size i set as six so this is like customization for the graph so here the title for the plot will be ether african stock i'm going to set the x label for the graph as dates then it's going to have a legend so that we can see the trend between the high and the low okay so all these are being made possible by matplotlib which is the uh, visualization library for uh, python so i'm going to run this so we can get a graph wow so this is great as you can see so this is the movement of the ether african stock between the high and the low you can see and there is dates down here there are dates down here okay so that's nice and i can also view the same thing for the twitter so i run this and this is for the twitter so you can see the trend in the twitter stock between the high and the low it starts uh by going up down up and towards uh the end of the year the stock you know uh, plunged okay so the stock plunged towards uh the end of the year uh this is in contrast to that of the ether african stock as you can see 
the high and the low are almost moving together okay so this is quite intuitive as you can see uh, we can gain a lot of uh, financial information from this to make uh, strategic decisions as you can see okay now we can also visualize the relationship between futures uh, okay so this is from matplotlib i'm going to import py plots and um, from pandas.plotting i'm going to make use of the scatter matrix to view the relationship between the futures or the indicators in the ether african stock and i'm going to set the scatter matrix then the figure size then pyplot.show we show the graph so i'm going to run this so that we can see wow so right now you can see so this is a scatter matrix and there's a lot of information that you can also gain from a scatter matrix as you can see you can compare each feature against uh, another okay like comparing the low with the eye so the eye is down here then the low is right here so you can see the, the, the relationship between them is depicted by uh, this straight line or you know, this these are the points so this is this looks like a linear relationship between the high and the low and it's quite strong because you can see the trend continuously rising okay so that shows that there's a kind of strong relationship between the high and the low okay so if we should check that of the volume against the eye you can see the pattern of the data points it doesn't show that kind of uh, straight line trends that we see in some of them here so this is a kind of uh, uh, may not be too strong okay so between the volume and the high but if you check that of the close um, the open you can see there's also a kind of uh, straight line uh, trend line you know and the data points are just lined up you know in a linear fashion you know in a straight line fashion which shows that there's a kind of a uh, strong relationship between the open ear and the close you know those two features yeah so we've come to the end of this tutorial and i hope you've really uh, learned a lot of things so i'll see you next time